As many as 30,000 Americans die as a result of suicide every year. There are ways to take action against suicide, but prevention often begins with everyday heroes like you. Angela Drake is with the American Foundation of Suicide Prevention, South Dakota chapter. She's here to tell us more about the program and how you can help in the fight against suicide. Thanks so much for being here today. Thank you for having us. So this topic, a lot of people do not like to talk about mental health. It's something people just stay clear of. But why is it so important to have these conversations? Well, right now we're talking about seize the awkward. So seize that awkward moment with a friend, a family member, and ask if they're okay. Just a simple, take that crazy awkward silence when you're sitting and chatting and just ask, are you okay? How are you doing? I've noticed that you are, you've been different lately. How does this organization raise awareness for suicide? Absolutely. So we, um, we have our walks throughout the state, Rapid City, Sioux Falls, Aberdeen, um, to bring survivors together and supporters together, as well as people with lived experience together, um, to raise funds. And those funds allow us to go out into our communities, into schools, into churches, into workplace and community groups, and present on warning signs and prevention topics. Why are you so passionate about this topic of mental health and suicide, and why did you get involved? I got involved um, because I've, I've, my, my daughter fought a long mental health battle, and unfortunately we lost that battle um, when she died um, by suicide in March of 2016. So I am using this big mama bear hockey mom voice that I have to make it known that we have to do better. We have to take better care of our people. And I'm so sorry for your loss, and Thank I can't you. imagine what it's like to go through that, but mental health is something that we need to talk about, and there's so many people that are struggling with it that don't know how to cope, and so what are some different ways that we can take action and fight against this? Talk about it. You know, any time that um, the topic of suicide comes up, don't shy away from it. Use it as a moment to talk safely about it. Um, when, when a suicide occurs, we want to take that time to not just talk about how awful and, and how hurtful you may feel from that moment, but take a moment to talk to your loved ones safely. You know, what resources are there for them? Who can they go to? Who are they comfortable with? Um, all those things are important. And, you know, again, taking that moment to really reach out, be nosy, check in with your friends, check in with your family. If you notice or you feel like something's different, check in with them. And it's not only important to get this help and support when you're the one going through it, but then the loved ones, the friends, the family, they go through something as well that they might need support after having someone that they love do this. Absolutely. You know, anytime there is a loss, loss is loss. You know, and loss is always hard to go through, and that grieving process is never easy. Um, grieving a suicide loss can be different for people. Um, and so reaching out you know, when you're struggling with that is also very important and finding resources. And we have resources for survivors as well. What are some different programs that are offered by AFSP? Yeah, we have our Talk Saves Lives program, really beneficial to go into schools, um, communities. We have a More Than Sad program um, for that middle school age and up. Um, our college film has been really phenomenal for that college age students. We're promoting popcorn, popcorn and movie nights in college dorms, and it just gives some relatable information to college students. Um, we also have um, Survivor Day in November that brings survivors together. We have our walks to bring um, people together as well, um, as well as other events throughout the year. Let's get into a little more detail about these. So first, Talk to Save Lives, what does that all include? Absolutely. That's going to go through um, the research. We're going to go. We're going to talk about what we do for research, what we do for prevention, our advocacy program, um, both local and national levels. What we do there, as well as you know, being the selfish humans that we are, we all want to know what can we do to help. So we talk about that as well. Um, so it's it's a lot of information that anyone can benefit from. And how about the more than sad? More than sad is reaching out to that, that teen, tween age um, about, you know, what to do when you're sad and how to handle those emotions and, and what to take from those. Those are great for um, teachers, students, um, things like that. And then I saw the last one was the college one. And yeah. I know a lot of people go to college sometimes where they don't know anyone and they don't have family there or right. they don't have people they feel like they can talk to. Right. And so what 
can you learn by with that program? With the college film, you know, it, it is filmed on relatable college campuses, and it's um, real college kids telling their story, and you can connect with somebody in there, um, and you know you're not alone, and they're so feeling that, that feeling of not being alone really allows you to gain courage to ask for help and find your help. And bringing those college students together for like that popcorn and movie night like we've done in college dorms, then you also can talk about what resources are on your college campus. Um, college campuses, we also have a free interactive screening program, which is all confidential. Then go online and, and just do a kind of mental check-in, um, which is important for all of us to do. From someone who has lost a child from suicide and this mental illness, what is something that you wish you would have been told? Ah, wow. Um, you know, just I've always been the one to hold on to hope. Even through all of um, Brittany's battles, we held on to hope and we always were looking for, for more to help and more to do. And we were grateful to have all the support and love that we had. Um, so I guess now I just continue to hold on to that hope and try to share it with everybody else that we meet. And that's such a great thing because people that may have lost someone to this, it's hard for them to talk about it and you're spreading awareness and you're trying to help everyone else with it. So thank you so much for that. Um, and then let's just talk about the walks. Yeah, absolutely. So in um, Sioux Falls here, we are walking September 22nd that weekend um, at Terrace Park. Um, last year we had a phenomenal turnout um, of both lost survivors and lived um, experienced survivors as well. We welcome everyone to join us because we're all in this fight together. And this battle isn't just about one person, it's about all, all of us, um, you know, needing help, wanting help, wanting to give help. Um, so, you know, we look for those people that had that lived experience as well. Um, so that they can help us um, share that light as well. Um, we have our advocacy forums. Um, we're going out to Washington, D.C. to talk to our legislators again in June. We just had our state capitol day in April to talk to our state legislators, which is super important. And then AFSP is one of the number one funders of research here in the U.S., which, you know, if we don't know what we're battling, we can't fix it. So that is the biggest important key of what we do. A lot of great information here. Thank you so much, Angela.